Hi and welcome to week 13 of Movie Reviews. This past week I saw three new films, the first being 2010's Red. Here's the plot. When his peaceful life is threatened by a high-tech assassin, former Black Ops agent Frank Moses reassembles his old team in a last-ditch effort to survive and uncover his assailants. Rated PG-13 with a runtime of 1 hour and 51 minutes. Starring Bruce Willis and Carl Urban. Uh, I felt like Red was an average, over-the-top action-slash-comedy movie. Uh, I felt like the comedic timing seemed a little off uh, throughout the movie. Uh, but they do have some funny moments. There wasn't really anything that really just like blew me away and was like, Oh, this is a really good movie. Uh, it's most likely a one-time watch. If that, I mean, if you need something to watch it'll pass the time, but other than that, I don't think it's anything special. Uh, it wasn't awful, but it was just like an average action movie, I think. Uh, I do hear the second one's better, but I haven't seen it. Uh, as of now, Red is on HBO Max. The second movie I saw this past week was 1922's Nosferatu. Vampire Count Orlock expresses interest in a new residence and real estate agent Hutter's wife. Not rated with a runtime of one hour and 34 minutes. I'm going to be honest here. The only reason I really watched this movie, this German film, was uh, because the hash slinging slasher episode of Spongebob. They're asking, they're all like, who's flickering the lights? And they all turn and they go, Nosferatu! And it's just Nosferatu and he's flickering the lights. Uh... Yeah, that's the best uh, best part of Nosferatu, other than that, the movie sucked. Uh, I, or it didn't suck, I, I don't know. I didn't like it, I didn't care for it. I think it was very choppy, even for that time. Uh, it, it was very repetitive with some of the things. And I, I do tend to like silent films. I haven't watched too many that I disliked. This one, I didn't like. I don't think I'll ever see it again. Uh, I don't really recommend it to anybody. Uh, yeah, as of now, you can find it on Tubi or Pluto TV. And finally, the best for last, because my last film I saw was 2022's Glass Onion, a Knives Out mystery. Famed Southern detective Benoit Blanc travels to Greece for his latest case, rated PG-13 with a runtime of 2 hours and 19 minutes, starring Daniel Craig, who is most known for his work as James Bond. I was a big fan of Knives Out when it came out in 2019, I believe. Uh, I think it was very refreshing to see a nice, fun detective movie that doesn't give you a headache to think about. It's, I feel like we haven't had too many detective movies in recent years, and so it's nice to see this. I think Glass Onion was just as good. Knives Out may have been a little better. But I thought it was a really fun move that kept me uh, captivated the whole time. Uh, I hope they really keep using Daniel Craig for this and they keep making sequels. I thought they did a great job at not even talking about the last case of Knives Out. And by doing that, you make it its own movie. And if they keep that up, I think they have a great chance at making this like the new modern Sherlock Holmes. And I'm totally down for it. I think it'd be a great franchise and I think it has a lot of potential. I would recommend this movie to anybody who likes crime movies, who like mystery movies or comedies. I thought everybody did a great job in it and it was really fun to watch. As of now, you can only watch Knives Out that I know of on Netflix.